hello guys now as i have created our image to matrix class now i am going to create our third class algo class algo class dot pi now i am going to import numpy for operations related to math import numpy as numpy and import cv2 okay now class name my algo now constructor for our class now i am going to take uh, arguments inputs image matrix image labels image targets number of elements image width image height and quality percentage as our last parameter so now i'm going to uh, assign these variables this is image matrix not image matrix because this is for all my images Now I'm going to copy paste this for all the variables which are 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and assign these variables. And this is our last variable assigned the quality percentage now I'm going to take mean of all the images which will be mean phase equals to numpy dot mean all the images and take in the direction of zero means take uh, images of all the mean of all images um, because our image matrix is t cross n cross n so if we give argument at 0 th axis so it will take a mean for all the images which will be n by n dimension so now I'm going to subtract mean images mean subtracted this is new variable will be this is typo self dot images matrix minus self dot mean phase okay so this is our constructor now I am going to create function for our find value of p we are going to pass diagonal values or we can say eigenvalues so sum original is sum of all the eigenvalues eigenvalues sum threshold which we want equals to because value of p will be decided on uh, how many eigenvalues we are need so we can find some required equals to s into our quality percentage sum original into quality percentage and divided by 100 this will be our sum threshold now for find value of p we are going to take create new variable sometime which will be 0 initially and let's say p equals to 0 for starting while some temp is less than some threshold means we are going to create some using loop some temp will be pl increment plus equals to and eigenvalues which will be p eigenvalue and we are going to increment p as well and after this loop we are going to return value of p now i am going to create our reduced dimension function so first 
argument will be number of images which will be self dot images matrix dot shape and its zeroth value so I'm going to create our reduced function later I'm going to create other functions first just for I will do let others in the actor so I'm going to create a first lip, uh, show image which will be take two our parameters labels to show and our original coordinates odd coordinates we can show this image easily so we are going to create matrix from these old coordinates old coordinates and new dimension which will be uh, images self dot images uh, width and self dot images height old coordinates as integer means image can be in uh, right now our matrix can be in also uh, decimal points but image only take integers so we are going to do this so this is used for uh, only uh, keep them as integers Now we are going to resize our image so it will look more clear and p dot resize our old coordinates integers and resize to 500 by 500 so this is our resized image and just we are going to show this using im show function first uh, parameter labels to show then resized image and then we are going to wait for press any key this is our show image function now we are going to create function for find image from its path means if path only given path first we are going to read image as gray using our function cv2 dot im read and we are going to provide path and zero for black and white means gray gray picture then we are going to return this gray picture after scaling as our matrix size gray and our parameters which will be self dot images width and self dot images height so this is function for uh, image find image from path now last function this recognize face this is going to take only new parameter which is new coordinates of image find it using our algorithm so number I am going to create a loop using number of images which is equals to length of our labels now to going to create an empty array in which I am going to store, store distance from each image so for i in range of number of images I am going to find create one image temporary image equals to self dot new coordinates which is not created yet we are going to create in our uh, reduced dimension function and distance will be temp distance will be dis and p dot ling lang dot norm new coordinate of image minus our temporary image and we are going to add this into our distances array so we are now going to uh, find argument of minimum distance distances and we are going to find its label equals to self dot images labels and this argument and we are going to return it return self dot images target and this label so this is our recognize function 
now I'm going to complete our reduce dimension function first we are going to we are going to create a uh, covariance matrix GT using this formula where image minus its means tr uh, transpose into image minus image mean and we are going to take whole sum on all the images so GT first we are going to create a GT as empty matrix so on p dot zeros so it will be going to take one parameter images height and images width this will be our empty matrix so for i in range of number of images so we are going to create loop on all images so temporary gt will be we are going to take dot trans multiplication on transpose of subtracted image images means subtracted its transpose and this again without transpose and we are going to add this in our gt our temporary gt so this is our covariance matrix now we are going to find out its eigenvalues eigenvectors first we have to divide it by uh, total number of images oh, type over here because it is mean means we are taking average number of images so eigen values and eigen vectors will be np dot ling lang dot eigen of gt so this will be our eigen values and eigen vectors now we are going to find value p p will be you can find using our function give p in which we are going to provide eigen values so it will be e values now we are going to choose only few first p eigen vectors so new basis uh, sorry self dot new basis will be our original eigen vectors but from 0 to p only so this is our new basis now we can easily find our uh, new coordinates equals to bit dot product of our images matrix and our new basis system means we are projecting our old coordinates on new axis and we are going to return these new coordinates and now we are going to create only one function our last function which will be used to find new coordinates of a, any image means for any training image and it is going to take only one variable that will be that single image and we can easily find that new coordinates with same method which you used earlier uh, with dot project means projecting single image and our new basis there are three mistakes that we should remove first uh, in our give p function we are adding only eigenvalues not eigenvalues array so this is our first mistake and that second mistake it is new, new coordinates not new coordinates this is our second mistake and in third mistake we are showing image using np dot resize but we are resizing an image so we should use our image library which is opencv so these are all three mistakes you should uh, remove first so now we are going to take another look on our class so this was our algorithm class uh, first we created our image uh, constructor in which we take all the inputs images matrix image labels image targets number of elements images width images height and quality percentage then we reduced its dimension in which uh, we given our images all the images equals to uh, say means this is value of t which we can easily find using shape method then we created an empty uh, matrix of means covariance matrix with its uh, height and width then we add added this temporary gt which we find it by uh, you can see here which we find it by multiplex uh, image minus image mean into transpose and image minus images mean this is our covariance matrix and that's we are doing here so after finding gt we divided it by total number of images to find its average 
then we find it eigenvectors and eigenvalues using our library numpy and then we find it our p using this uh, p method which we created and then we find it new basis by choosing only first few and new coordinates using dot product and we find it new coordinate for single image also using dot product we displayed this image first we scaled it into our image width into height then we created it into integer by using this method then we decide into 500 by 500 to look very clearly and then we showed the this image by using this function we created a function to fi find a uh, image using its path by taking im read and pr uh, providing zero parameters for gray image and we recognized face by this simple method in which we created uh, a single simple array which is distance from all images which you have seen in our uh, this process in which we are finding our distance of our face from each face that's we are doing here which we created a distance array and find the distance from each image and and we find it the location where the distance is minimum we find it its label and we find it whose face is this so this are, is our whole algorithm class in next video i am going to create our um, main class or face recognition class so that's all for this video thank you for watching please like video and subscribe my channel thank you